Hello, and welcome to Music and Beyond Presents. I'm Julian Armour, the director of Music and Beyond. Today, we are going to enjoy a performance by one of the world's leading early music ensembles, the London Handel Players. This group plays on period instruments. They want you to hear the music just as it might have sounded in the Baroque era. And now I will let violinist Adrian Butterfield introduce this fascinating performance, which they call Barbaric Beauty. Hello, my name is Adrian Butterfield. And I'm Rachel Brown. And we are members of the London Handel Players. Uh, we've been coming to Ottawa for many years. In fact, this would have been my 20th anniversary of coming to Ottawa this year if we'd been allowed to come. But sadly, that's not been possible. Um, however, Julian Armour very kindly got in touch and said, would you like to record some music um, and a message for the audiences in Ottawa? And we've been delighted to, to do that today. Um, we've come up with a really interesting uh, and unusual programme and we're giving you a, a taster of the programme that we'd love to bring for you next year. Um, Julian has, has mentioned that uh, he'd love us to come uh, if that's possible, so we look forward to that. Our, our programme entitled Barbaric Beauty is a marvellous kaleidoscope of music inspired by the Orient, um, from the wild rituals of the Moors and the Native Americans to the rugged hornpipes of the English and the captivating beauty of the Scottish ballads and, and rousing dances. But it was actually Telemann who coined this phrase barbaric beauty and he was deeply inspired by the many Polish gypsies that he heard. Uh, he said they gave him enough inspiration for a lifetime of composition. It's lovely, this mixture of art, music and the folk elements, and uh, they sort of uh, slightly clash against each other, but um, there's a lovely piece. We start with, with Lully, um, with a, a wonderful ceremonial um, introduction. And then for the we, Turkish. Uh, for Turkish, yes, that's right, the, the Turkish background. And then we move to this piece by Schmelzer, which uh, is actually called uh, Polish Bagpipe players um, and it, it, it alternates between being, being very um, elegant and refined and then suddenly going into these sort of drone type music. And that's echoed in the Hanaski movement of Telemann where you can almost hear the bagpipers in the distance. Um, and then we go into Vivaldi. Vivaldi. We're playing a, a slow movement from the concerto entitled Il Gran Mogul. It was only discovered a few years ago and we believe it was written um, for an Indian delegation to Venice and that's got a really spicy flavour to it, hasn't mm. it? You know, quite uh, uh, atmospheric. And then we move to the British Isles, which of course from a European perspective um, was a bit off the map. And uh, it was Matteson who described these English hornpipes as being almost as if they could have been written by court composers from the North Pole or the South Pole. They sounded so strange to European ears. And then we round off with a, a wonderful medley of Scottish uh, tunes, starting with a beautiful haunting ballad and going into very rousing Scottish dances to finish. So we hope you enjoy this lovely selection of music. Um, we miss being in Ottawa. Uh, we'd love to be there this summer and uh, we very, very much hope that we can be back next year. Greetings to all our friends there and we look forward to meeting you again.
I have had the great pleasure of presenting these superb musicians virtually every year for almost 20 years. After a two-year break due to the pandemic, I am delighted that they are returning to Ottawa again this July. And now, staying in the Baroque era, we will hear Ottawa harpsichordist Marie Bouchard performing music by the French composer Louis-Antoine Dornel.
Thank you for watching Music and Beyond Presents. If you would like to see more videos or learn about our upcoming concerts, including the Music and Beyond Festival, please visit musicandbeyond.ca.